Hi boys and girls, today we are going to be comparing numbers. We use greater than, which is more, less than, which is less, and equal to, which is the same. One way to do this is using a number line. We are going to look at the numbers 17 and 9 and compare them. So I'm going to find 17 on my number line, put one of my dots there, and 9 on the other. So if I want to say which one is greater, I would say 17 is greater than 9. Or I can say 9 is less than 17. I cannot say they are the same because they are not the same number. All right, now let's look at the next two, 15 and 15. I'm going to use my number line, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. There's my 15. And the other one is 15. Look what happens, boys and girls. Our dots end up on the same number. So that means they are equal. They are the same number, the number 15. All right, now let's look at 4 and 14. I'm going to put my circle on 4, and I'm going to put my circle on 14. I know that 4 is less than 14 because it comes first on the number line. 14 is greater than because it comes last. All right, and for the last one, 11 and 12. Here's my 11, and there's my 12. Ooh, they're really close. But I can see that 11 comes before 12. So 11 is less than 12. But 12 is greater than 11. Nice job using that number line. Now we're going to look at some tens frames. I'm going to look at these two first. I can see I have a group of 10 and 5. 10 and 5 make 15. So this one's worth 15. And then this one is 10 and 3. So I can know that this one's 15 and this one's 13. This one has more dots in this tens frame, so it is greater. This one has less. So it is less than. So 15 is greater than 13. 13 is less than 15. Let's take a look at these two. I can see I have 10 and 9. 10 and 9. 10 and 9 make 19. So 19 is the same as 19. Ooh, now let's look at the last one on here. This tens frame has a group of 10 in there. But then the ones are scattered. Let's see if we can figure it out. I have 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. This side is 14. This one is 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 18. Now I had to count these because they were scattered. They look like there are more, but I had to double check. So 14 is less than 18. 18 is greater than 14. Great job using those tense frames. Now we're going to look at some objects. I need to count and see how much I have. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. All right, I want you to count them and see what numbers you come up with. All right, did you count all of them? We had some bigger numbers this time. You can see that we have 16, 20, 23, and 26. So just like the last time, we are going to compare them. So if I wanted to compare the fish to the butterflies, I know that I have less fish than butterflies. So I'm going to say the fish is less than the butterflies. 16 is less than 26. Because this one only has one group of 10s, this one has two group of, groups of 10. All right, now for the um, pairs. We have 20 pairs. Is 20 more than or less than the cylinders? Hmm. Well, we're in the 20s here and we're in the 20s here. 20, 21, 22, 23. Ooh, 23 is more than 20. So 20 is less than 23. All right. Great job listening. Remember, you can use a number line, you can use a tens frame, 
or you can use objects when comparing. Just remember to use these special comparing words greater than, less than, and equal to. Have a great day learning!